Hello, it's Vicky with Condi Systems Technical Support, and I'm in CorelDRAW X6. There's four new tools in CorelDRAW X6 that I think you'll find very interesting. I'm doing videos on all four of those tools, just simple, basic information using cut shapes from the toolbar to the left, and showing you how to manipulate and choose where to go to find the tools, how to manipulate the tools, the things that you can do with the tools. You can use these new features on your graphics and your vector images within um, Corel Draw. So you can do fancy uh, work and create fancy shapes and do unique uh, things to your to your objects and your and your images or your vector images within your graphics nice new features um, from Corel. One of the features, one of the four tools is the repel tool. The repel tool is found over here under your um, your shape tool. If you don't see it, just click on the shape tool and then scroll down and left click on repel. Okay, so you must have something selected on the page and that object in which you select is what uh, if you don't have it selected, you can use your pick tool to select it, as you can see here. And then come down and choose your repel tool. What that gives you is a radius, which is called a nib, and Corel Draw is what they call it. And the nib can be resized by holding your shift key and dragging out or dragging inward uh, using your uh, left click on your mouse. And um, you can make this different sizes. You can also change your your, your size here, your rate size, your ratio, and your pin pressure. Your pin pressure is basically um, how defined something will be using this tool. So you play around with it, uh, find fancy ways of using it, whatever that uh, suits you for your graphic. And uh, I think that, uh, that uh, it's going to save you a lot of time. The earlier way in versions X5 and X4 was to simply um, click on your nodes and pull and reform and reshape the object by uh, clicking on the nodes with your left key, mouse key and dragging it. That's very time consuming but with X6 you get this nice feature where you can do a lot of work in a little time by just changing your radius and dragging. So let's start with the repel tool. Got my object selected here. What I can do is I can go outside the box and just click and that creates like a bite here and depending on how big your nib is is how big your bite will be if I click within the color it will uh, do a con I guess the word is a, a convex shape or outside in the white be more like a concave shape so you can go all around this object doing fancy things creating uh, unique shapes by just simply clicking on the object and then based on what side of the color or, or the object you're on is which way it will repel. So real neat feature in Corel. Um, I think that it, it'll be very handy with your graphics and images. I know it's coming handy for me and again this is just basic demonstrations. I encourage you to get one of your graphics you can play around with, something that you can use and uh, give it a try and see how you like it. Again, you can reshape your, your nib by just simply clicking on your left mouse key, holding down your shift key and reshape the size of your nib here. Your, your pin pressure can be selected here as well, off or on, and based on how much pin pressure was how much um, uh, I guess sharpness you can get by using this tool. Um, again, my name is Vicki. Have any questions on how to use the repel tool or select anything that I've went over? Uh, you feel free to give me a call. 1-800-826-6332. My name is Vicki and as always, I thank you for your time.